Hello, welcome. Let's have a continuation of our series on just ended September 2023 Waxi or Mathematics question paper. We are on question number eight. So in the diagram, as we are seeing, we are having M and R. M and R being a right angle triangle and the side of the M N is given as 15 centimeters. That of the side of M, R is provided as 10 root 3 meters. The angle M, Q, N. M, Q, N is given as 72 degrees. So our task is to calculate correct to the nearest whole number, the value of X, which is the angle mark X. Then two, find the length of Q, R, the length of Q, R, and find the area of the triangle M, Q, R. So we are having three questions using the diagram to provide. Now, first thing first, let's see how we can be able to find the angle mark X. In this triangle, this is not a right angle triangle. So Pythagoras theorem or trigonometry functions cannot be used. But if you combine this angle together, meaning taking the whole triangle Ignoring the line MQ, we can take this as a right angle triangle whereby we can label this angle as the one angle of the triangle. So what I mean is that, so we are taking the whole triangle here. If we are from that triangle, we can label this as an angle. So we let the angle RMN to be equal to theta. I mean the angle that make use of the x and the empty space here both become theta. So if that is theta, then since this is a right angle triangle, the n r become the opposite of the angle theta. Then the 15 meters become the adjacent, whilst 10 root 3 becomes the hypotenuse. So we can use any of the ratios. Because this is not known, we can use the ratio that combined the adjacent and that of the hypotenuse, which we know is going to be cos. So I'll be having the cos of the angle equals to the adjacent side, which is going to be 15 meters over the hypotenuse, which will be 10, the root of 3. So in this case, what I'm looking for is the angle. So I'll have my theta equals to the cos inverse of 15 out of 10 root 3. So this will give us the angle theta to be equal to 30 degrees. So you can see that if the angle here is 30 degrees, we can be able to find the value of x easily because the angle we are referring to comprises of the x and that of the small angle here. So knowing this angle, which is making use of the x and this angle, we can only find the x if we know this angle, which we can easily find from the triangle M, Q, N. Since we know two of the angles, the third one will be easy to find. So I'll be having from the triangle M, Q, N, we can label this angle as angle QMN equals to, this one is going to be equals to 180 minus 90 plus 72. Don't forget, if you add this plus this plus this very angle, we should get 180 degrees, which is the sum of the angles in a triangle. So this is going to be 180 minus the add is we have 162. So let's see what will be the difference. The difference is going to be 18 degrees. So this very angle is 18. Knowing very well that 18 plus x will give us our 30 degrees. If we add 18 and x, we'll give you 30 degrees. So since we have a description for this, we can say that the angle x plus the angle 18 should give us 30 degrees. 
That is from the description we have this angle that we have this as theta. The x is given to us a variable. So our x is just going to be 30 degrees minus 18. And I believe that will give us 12 degree. So the angle here is only having a value of 12. This is having a value of 18. The two combined together give us the value of 30 degrees. So the next thing to find is the length of QR. QR, this very length here. Which form part of the length of the, the bigger triangle NR. So it means if I know the NR, then find the NQ, I could be able to find the difference. So the first thing first, let's find the longest side of the main triangle, which is a right angle triangle. Looking at the whole of this, it's going to be 30 degrees as we found. 30 degrees, this is going to be opposite of that 30 degrees, the adjacent hypotenuse. Any of the side can be used. That makes use of the opposite and adjacent. So I'll be dealing with tan. We can also have opposite hypotenuse. We can use sine also in order to find here. So I'll be having tan 30, which is this angle in there, equals to the opposite side. We are going to be using NR divided by the hypotenuse. I ought to call it the adjacent side, which will give us 15. Don't forget, we are looking for this. So we cross multiply. So your length of NR will be equal to 15 times 30. And if you have 15 times 30, That gives you 8.660 8.660 meters. That is the length from here to here. Then we can also find the smaller one from the smaller right angle triangle. So from this triangle, which has the angle to be 18, we still have the opposite we still have the adjacent. So we can have tan 18 to be equal to the opposite side, which is NQ divided by the adjacent, which is still the word 15. Per our cross multiplication, the length of NQ will also be 15 tan 18. And if I have 15 tan 18, that also gives us 4.874. So we can see the longest side has been provided as 8.666. Don't forget we are leaving our answer in the nearest whole number. But let's maintain this and this. Then the difference, it will just be if I subtract here from the main length, I'll be left with the side I am asked to find. So to find this length, we are only going to say that the QR is going to be equal to the longest length minus the shortest one. So I'll be having the NR minus the NQ going to be 8.660 4.874 and per that subtraction that will give us 3.786 our approximation must be in the nearest whole number so we are going to have 4 meters as the length of QR that the question is demanding this is going to be 4 meters to the nearest whole number all right the next thing to find is to find the area of triangle M R M Q R, right? M Q R. We are looking for the area of this. And finding the area of this, we can see that this length is known. This length is not known, but this is known. We can be able to find the area of this as a 
equal a scale triangle if this side is known so it means we have to find it but we can also find the area of the bigger triangle minus the area of the smaller right angle triangle then that portion will be left so first of all let's find area of the bigger triangle m m r the longer one which we know the length we know the height so this could be the base so that is going to be half base times height what will be the base the length here which we are still having as 8.66 times the height which will be 15 meters so in the multiplication of that that will give us 64.95 meter square that is for the bigger triangle but also we are now going to find the area of the smaller right angle triangle in here with that is also going to be half times the base in this case what base do we get we calculated this to be 4.874 times the height, which still remain 15. So half times 4.874 times 15, that will give us 36.55 meter squared. So hence the area of the triangle MQR will just be equals to the area of the bigger one minus the area of the smaller one which means the area of triangle MNR minus the area of triangle MNQ which in this case will be 64.95 minus 36.55 meters and that will give us 28.4 meter square so in all the area of the shaded triangle we are having here will just be 28.4 meter square thank you for watching like share and comment come back for question number nine